Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'm doing a cooking video. Um, I'm gonna do some beer braised chicken thighs uh, because it comes out really, really good. I've done this a couple times before. So the first thing I'm doing, showing you the stove here, I have the uh, broiler on high, all right? And I have the rack towards the top. You can see there's not much room here. From the actual heating coils um, to the rack, there's probably maybe five and a half, six inches or so. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is brown my chicken. So I have them skin side up in a little throwaway pan. By the way, these pans are awesome. I use these for everything. Just makes uh, you know clean up real easy. But anyway, I have um, five uh, chicken thighs here, skin side up. I'm gonna put it in the oven on the broiler. I said it's pretty close to those coils. As you can see, it's lit up pretty uh, orange there. And I'm just gonna brown it, all right? When I'm done browning it, I'll take it out and I'll tell you the next step. All right, guys, just uh, pull this out of the oven, brown the chicken, basically render down the fat a little bit on the skin, um, got it a little bit crispy on the outside, so it's perfect. All right, the inside's still raw, obviously we still have to, you know, cook this. Um, I switched my oven from uh, broil to bake at 350 degrees, and I also lowered that tray because I don't want it really close to that coil anymore, so I put it back in the middle of the oven. So, we have our brown chicken. To this, I'm gonna add a can of diced tomatoes. And this is a large can, so I eyeball things most of the time. I just want it to be kind of halfway covered. We're still gonna put a lot of liquid in here, obviously, the beer. It's beer braised chicken. So anyway, what I did was I took out um, a little bit more than half of the juice that was in there. All right, because again, we're gonna have a lot of liquids. So right over the top, just dump your tomatoes. I'm gonna spread this out a little bit. I want everything to kind of coat the chicken most of the way. But you also want it on the base, you know, all around it. Actually, with five five uh, chicken thighs, it looks like I'm gonna end up using this whole can. So it's not too much. It's actually, just perfect. So spread that out all over the place. All right, beautiful. Now. Next ingredient, I'm gonna use some garlic. Of course, it's always better to use fresh. I'm just using this because it's convenient. Happen to have it, you know, in the house already. I used up uh, all the Jersey garlic that my, my friend sent me. That stuff is awesome. Makes a difference. <laughs> it's not imported Chinese garlic. All right. So, I happen to like my garlic, so I'll probably use, end up using more than you'd want to. Basically, just gonna sprinkle this around. Yeah, I like me some garlic. That's good stuff. All right. Next, I'm gonna add some hot sauce, just cause it's me, and that's what I like. I like to kick everything up a little bit. This is the Maritai Madness. Great, great hot sauce. Definitely packs a lot of punch. So let's put some of that in there. And a little bit more. <laughs> nice and spicy. Also has a lot of flavor too. A lot of fresh, delicious flavor. Okay, now my secret ingredient, which no recipe will ever tell you to put in there, but I find that it makes a nice little touch, is some horseradish. The regular old stuff, not that crazy nasal napalm, which actually I see a couple channels have that, and I've never, um, never tried that but I would be willing to try it. So perhaps I'll get some of the, that in the future and do a, a video on it. Can't be that bad. And then, just because it's so awesome, take a little spoonful for yourself. Mmm. I like the flavor. A lot of people don't like the flavor. Obviously a lot of people don't like the weird feeling. You get that kind of heat that goes right to your nose, but it tastes great. That makes a nice little touch. Alright, now on top. The most important part is your beer. Move this out of the way. In this case, I want a very good flavorful beer. So, I just happen to pick Guinness. Um, extra stout. And I know a lot of you guys out there, you're hardcore beer people and you have your favorites and stuff. No reason to say this is no good or that's no good or you gotta try this. Beer's beer. Pick your favorite one. And I'm gonna use the uh, 
Night Eyes S Beaner for this because it's got the bottle opener in it. So, it's beer time. Nice dark beer adds a tremendous amount of flavor to this. Now, because I'm using one of these things, obviously it's a lower, um, like the lip is not that big, so as far as liquids, you got to be careful. Obviously, you want to use something bigger than this, but I just chose to use this because that's what I had. Got a little bit more. Of course, I'll foam up on you. Give it a second. And a little bit left, so it's not going to hurt anyone. No one's looking. All right, what else? That's pretty much it. I'm not going to add salt and pepper to this, okay? Until pretty much the end, I'll, I'll flavor it because I've done this before and I've gone overboard with the um, the salt and it came out like crap. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm just taking some tin foil now. And we're going to cover this. And I'll be careful because I have all those liquids in there. Would make more sense just using a deeper vessel to cook this in, but yeah, just use them when I have. All right, kind of loosely pinching the sides here. I don't want to make a complete seal because obviously it's going to steam, and uh, I don't want the top blowing off and making a mess or anything like that. Just kind of a loose pinch all the way around, and that's it. This is going to go in the oven. Uh, I'm going to cook this for uh, 350. I'm going to cook this for about 45 minutes. Actually, you know what? No, not that long. I'm going to cook it for about a half an hour or so. Uh, of course, you can adjust your time depending on how much chicken you're using, how much you know liquid's in there. There's a lot of different factors. And, and of course, how much you actually cook your chicken while you're browning it. I cooked mine, you know, for I browned it for about eight minutes, whatever. So uh, I already cooked it. I don't want it to be dry, in other words. But the whole idea about braising something is that the meat comes out beautiful and delicious and tender and juicy. You can't really dry it out. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to say a solid 30 minutes to 40 minutes on 350 in the oven. And I'll get back with you to show you what that looks like when it's all done. All right, guys, out of the oven. I checked it about uh, 25 minutes later and I still need a little bit more time cut into one of the pieces. And the uh, juices that are running were a little bit pink. You know, you want to, any kind of meat, you want your juices to run uh, clear. Well, unless you like your, your steak rare or something like that. But generally speaking, chicken and, you know, pork, you want it to run clear. So what I did was I put one of the pieces of chicken on a plate. And yes, it is a freakishly small plate. <laughs> In case people have been wondering, last time I did a cooking video, someone asked me, like, you either have a massive fork <laughs> or a tiny plate. Uh, and I eat off a tiny plate because I have something that's embedded in my brain and I have to eat all the food that's on my plate so instead of having a big plate and overeating I take a small one and a very small bit of food and if I finish it and I wait a little bit I'm still hungry I take more but it is another little tip to help kind of lose weight but anyway I took the chicken um, scooped up some of that uh, tomato put that on the side little you know wedge of uh, fresh lemon and then just spooned on the uh, the it kind of makes like a sauce it's still thin hang on a second I'm taking some more but um, it's delicious, and it's got, of course, all the beer flavor. It's got the spice and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to hit this with a little bit of salt and pepper now after the fact. Fresh ground pepper and a little pinch of uh, salt. Let's see. Really don't need much. And that's it. I'm going to try it and see how it came out. I'll move this. All right, it's a little of everything. Cutting into this, oh, it's perfect. I don't know whether you guys can see that, but absolutely perfect on the inside. And obviously the thigh is a piece of dark meat. So take off a little piece of that meat. I'm gonna stab a couple of these uh, tomatoes first. And the meat, get that juice, a little pat on the lemon. And it should be a pretty good bite, let's see. Come on, stay on my plate. There we go. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> By the way, Gus is over there drinking some water. 
just so you don't think that's my lips smacking. Um, it's really good. Again, it's not a surprise. This is something I make all the time. Chicken thighs are super cheap. Canned tomatoes is cheap. You know, you may already have like the lemon and garlic. Um, you do pick up just a tiny bit of that horseradish. Of course, I get a nice kick from the hot sauce, but the flavor, the beer flavor is subdued uh, a lot in this because of the tomato. Now, if you were to braise chicken in just the beer, or like if you make like a beer can chicken, something like that, you definitely get more of the beer flavor. It's more in the foreground, but in this case, the way it's used this way, the tomatoes kind of dominate, and the beer is kind of like an afterthought or an after uh, taste you get like kind of in the finish after you swallow. But it's really good, it's really subtle. You don't have to like beer to like this. It makes a really complex flavor. It's just like when you're cooking with wine. Um, you can even use cheaper wine. And it still, it just adds something to it. For me, it kind of tastes like you go out to a restaurant. It's not something you normally have, but of course, I made a point to make stuff like this all the time. It's really healthy. No side dishes or anything. I'm not gonna add any kind of carbs or you know pasta or rice or anything on the side. Um, just as that is fine and I'll probably have two thighs and a bunch of the uh, tomatoes and then that, that should be just fine for me and that's a dinner and that's how you lose weight <laughs> but it doesn't have to be bland disgusting food um, a cheeseburger off the grill with all the fixings and some french fries in my opinion would probably taste better but this is still a very good meal it's it's hard to cook uh, at least if you don't have like a lot of training I mean I don't have training I didn't go to culinary school or anything all this stuff self-taught. It's stuff I've made and either liked or didn't like. But um, eating healthy sometimes doesn't taste as good. Doesn't mean it has to be flavorless. It could still taste great. Um, of course, I still crave other crap. I would still much, you know, rather a big greasy pizza with a bunch of meat on it and like hot wings and all that other crap. But for now, it's fine. It still tastes really good. But anyway, that's all now. I'm just babbling. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your time. If you make something like this, um, be sure to, to make a video on it. Love to see it. So, take it easy, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.